Hey guys, so I am back again with another video and this video is going to be on this chocolatey brown look. I posted something similar to this on Instagram like two months ago and I had filmed a video but my um, memory card got chewed up by my dog so a lot of things got lost so I tried to remake it but it's just a little different. But it's basically just like a chocolatey brown kind of look with a really dark brown lip. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get started. So the first thing I'm doing, of course, is priming my eyes. And then I'm taking W10 um, Studio Finish Concealer from this concealer palette from MAC and applying that under my eyebrows a brow highlight. This is pretty intense, but you'll see it kind of gets blended out so it's not too crazy. Um, and then I'm taking Light Plus Mineralized Skin Finish on a 226 brush from MAC and blending that under my eyebrow. As you can see, this sort of tones it down a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with some other colors to kind of enhance it too. So then I'm taking this brand new color from MAC called Natural Wilderness. This just came out with the Artificially Wild collection which is inspired by the 90s. And I'm just gonna use that on a Estee Lauder blending brush number 25 and start blending that in my crease. So I like to of course start in the outer corner and intensify that the most but then I do bring it all the way into the inner corner as well. And then I like to sort of buff out that line into the Light Plus. Having that Light Plus um, uh, color under the brow first makes that color blend out a lot easier. So then I am taking Bamboo from MAC. I haven't used this one in a while so I whipped this out and I'm just going to put that right above our crease color right underneath the Light Plus color to make that transition even more smooth. And then at this point I felt like the highlight was just too dark um, between the Light Plus and all those other colors so I'm taking this matte cream color from MAC's um, neutral cool palette, the 15 pan neutral cool palette, the pre-filled one, and just sticking that under my brow to kind of bring back some life to that highlight and make it just a little more intense because like I said it felt like it kind of got a little too dull. Then I am taking this uh, cream color base from MAC. This is another new product from the Artificially Wild collection and it's called Awe Nature or O oh Nature, whatever you want to say it. And I'm just going to press that on my eyelid using my finger as a base for the color we're putting on next, which is a pressed pigment in the color Beaming. These are so amazing, my favorite shadows ever. If you haven't tried one of these, you have to. So I'm using this Low Cornell Artist um, paintbrush, the Maxine Mop, and this is the large-ish one. It's kind of medium, I think. And just using that to press that pigment onto my eyelid over top of that base. And as you can see, that base really intensifies it and make it makes it super glittery and intense. I'm then taking the color Lavish Mink from Estee Lauder. This is a beautiful, beautiful, super dark brown. This is one of the darkest, most pigmented browns I've ever tried. More so than any Inglot or anything that have like the really pigmented shadows. This is even better. It's amazing. So I'm using this brush from Crown Brush to apply that in a little bit of a V shape. Um, and then using my Estee Lauder blending brush to sort of pull that more into the crease. Um, and then I'm just kind of going to go back and forth with both of those brushes and just kind of pull it in a little bit, then blend it, and then pull it in some more and blend it. And just keep doing in that until it's got that effect I want, which is kind of just that really nice faded out kind of line into the crease. I don't want it too crazy dark in there, just dark enough. And then I also like to blend that line, you know, outwards um, towards my hairline so that it doesn't kind of just stop. That way it's sort of really fluid and blends out. So again, I'm doing the same thing on the other side, just kind of making that little bit of a V, starting to blend with this brush, and then I'm just going to keep going back and forth with those two brushes just until it is blended and as pretty as I would like it to be. After that, I'm taking this highlighter called Heat Wave from Estee Lauder and using that as my inner corner highlight on my eye. I thought it went really well with the colors we had so far that are really kind of warm chocolatey. Um, and just pressing that on the inner corner with the same brush I used to do my outer corner. I just wiped it off really well before applying this color. And I'm also kind of dabbing that onto the lid just a little bit so they blend really nicely into each other. And then taking Costa Riche um, Eye Coal from MAC. I've really been loving the eye coals. Smolder and Costa Riche are my favorite eyeliners right now. They're absolutely amazing, stunning colors and they stay on really well. Um, they're one of the only two or three eyeliners at MAC that are waterline safe um, and they're just absolutely amazing. And then I'll be smudging that out with the beaming pressed pigment on this um, uh, flat kind of smudgy brush. This one is from Sigma. I don't know the new number. And again, just kind of packing that on and using that to blend out the liner so that it's really, really soft and blown out. 
And then after that, I did go in with the Lavish Mink color as well, just in the outer corner to bring that darkness all the way around the eyes so it's really fluid and it really kind of blends into each other. I'm not sure what I was looking at at that point. <laughs> and I just want to make sure these kind of blend really flawlessly into each other. And then I finished it off with using the um, Heat Wave highlighter on my inner corner as my highlight again and kind of wrapping that also around the eyes so that the eyes kind of all mesh together. So I'm using these lashes. They're from Broadway, the ones that are like $1.99 at the hair store. Um, don't know with the number or anything, but they kind of look like MAC um, number 36s. And I'm just applying those with some lash tweezers that I got at Ulta. I don't know what brand they are. I think they might just be Ulta brand, but they're amazing for applying the lashes. So then I put my MAC In Extreme Dimension mascara on, and then I use my lingering brow pencil to fill in my eyebrows. And now I'm going to go on to the face stuff. So of course I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, mixing the colors 3.5 and 0.5. And I just do that to customize my color depending on the day because my skin color is always forever changing because I fake tan. My face is never as dark as my body. As you can see, I have to put this on to make my face match my body. So I'm just going to put that on and I'm using this Ite Mineral Cosmetics brush. It's like a big, fat, fluffy, synthetic kind of buffer brush. It's meant for powder foundation, I guess, but it works so amazingly for liquid foundation. It's my absolute favorite right now for doing my liquid foundation. And I'm just applying that all over my face as well as on my forehead and stuff. It would have been so much easier if I would have done this before my eyebrows, but that's fine. Um, so then I'm doing my concealer, and this is the Double Wear Concealer also from Estee Lauder in the color Warm Light Medium. And I'm going to put that under my eyes. And then my favorite brush right now to blend out this concealer is the um, e.l.f. Oh geez, I don't know. It's an e.l.f. brush. This is one of the ones I think is only available online. And it's like a small, domed, pointy kind of synthetic brush. It just works really amazingly for getting under the eye area and blending out that concealer. Um, it's awesome. So then I'm just touching up the beaming pressed pigment under my eyes. And then I'm moving on to bronzer. I did not powder my face today just for shiggles. I don't really know why, but I like the way it turned out. It kept the whole face looking a little more dewy, but it still lasts really long because it's double wear. Um, and this is the Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark Deepest, my absolute favorite contour. And I'm just using that to contour and bronze my face, under my cheekbones, around my forehead, um, on my nose a little bit, and under my chin like I always do. Same stuff, guys. So I'm using just a Lancome brush to blend that in. It's very similar to a MAC 129. And then I'm using this highlighter, which is one of MAC's new highlighters, and it's called Global Glow. It's like a very, um, like a dark champagne kind of color. Not yet to bronze, but it's not champagne either, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to put that on my cheekbones and then down the center of my face as well with the same brush. And I won't be using blush today. I kind of just use those two to give a really bronzy, natural look to my face um, and then skip the blush. And then we're finishing it off with Film Noir Lipstick from MAC. It looks so red in this lighting, I don't know why, but it is a true, just like dark chocolate brown. It looks like a bar of chocolate, like it's amazing. And it's a satin finish, so it's just got enough shine to it, but it's not like really wet feeling um, or feeling like it's gonna come off really easy. It's really nice. I would have loved to pair this with Bittersweet Pearl Longwear Lip Liner, but I did not have it with me at that point in time, so I didn't do it, but I would. And I would recommend that combination because they work amazingly well together. So that is the finished look, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me comments of something you'd like to see below as far as makeup looks because I'm kind of like trying to think of ideas and I feel like I've done everything at this point. So if you could leave me some ideas of things you want to see, that would be awesome. Thanks. Have a great day, guys. Bye.